Hey guys, welcome back to Zandra Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. So as you continue to undertake your endeavor to figure out your new business idea or a new way of expanding your current business, this video was created to give you some insight and some ideas that could spark innovative concepts that could help you not only improve your business but come up with new and fresh ideas finally had the courage to buy my first vending machine i found it on offer up for 550 dollars nothing was wrong with it just needed to be cleaned spend 350 dollars on snacks had my first customer while I was filling it up. Total spend $900. Follow and stay tuned for weekly updates. This is how we had to wait 17 minutes to know if our startup was going to fail. This was the first time that our low sugar formula had run through the production line. We were at risk of it sticking in the molds. If it did, it would set off the alarm, we'd have to press the emergency stop, and it would take days to clean out. From the time that our candy is injected into the molds, there's a 17 minute wait. It was the longest wait of our lives. After 17 minutes of staring at the machine, this was the first lollipop that rolled off the line. It's one of the happiest moments we've ever had, and hundreds more started pouring out after. Check us out at suckers.com. This is reusable toilet paper. Did you know 27,000 trees are flushed daily? These help avoid waste and save money. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I always emphasize having a competitive advantage. Competitive advantage is essentially what makes a company's goods or services superior to all of the customer's other choices. And this is basically done when a business provides a clear benefit of its products or services to its target market. It's not entirely necessary for you to be innovative to start a business as a business small medium or large your competitive advantage could be the cost of the product or the product slash service differentiation now guys as a business owner it's very important to have a sustainable competitive advantage that means that you should build products services a brand and a reputation that attracts consumers continually over time a temporary rise in popularity is not going to cut it. Understanding what your customers want and need and what you'll need to have to meet those requirements is how you can set yourself apart from your competitors. Having a competitive advantage will set in motion your business growth. It will provide you market share and you'll also have increased customer lifetime value.
Welcome to a day in the life of a shaved ice business owner. First, I got to the shop and pulled out a few blocks of ice because they have to temper for about 45 minutes before we put them in the machine. I turned on our sauce warmer for our waffles, did a quick mop underneath the tables just because they got extra sticky. Then I finished making a simple syrup so that our girls could refill our concentrates. These are all of our syrups. We offer 72 flavors and seasonal flavors as well. My favorite is blue raspberry. I took off all of the dust caps. We place these on every night just to keep bugs and obviously dust out. Then I opened all of the toppings bins. I want to say we have around 30 toppings at the shop right now. I had a order call in for some waffles since we had just launched the day before. So I wrote those down. I recorded my employee making the waffle batter for us. She's going to hate me if she sees this. And then I started playing the music. We use the iHeartRadio app. We started making the waffles for the day. This was only our second day of having waffles at the shop and they are delicious. We'll just be offering these for uh, just a few months to get us through the winter. Here we're making a shaved ice. It's so satisfying to watch. And then I ordered this for myself. So this is just a blue raspberry, kind of a messy one. I made her make it for the Hey everyone, this is Dwayne at Sparta Candle Company. Today I wanted to show you guys our number one best-selling soap, Little River. This soap is named after a river that runs through the town of Sparta. People in our store often ask if we put real rocks in this soap, and believe it or not, the rocks are actually made of soap as well. We make each rock by hand here in our shop. It's a tedious process, but it really pays off. This soap smells like bergamot, lavender, and sandalwood. I definitely recommend it. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne at Sparta Candle Company, located in Sparta, North Carolina, deep in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Many of you have asked us to show a video of how our Little River soap is made. First, we hand pour the rocks in rubber molds using a variety of colors in the process. Once dry, we mix them together in large bins. Our soap makers then pour the soap using a series of layers. Once they have cooled, we have the finished product. Stay tuned for future editions of Cutting Up with Dwayne and be sure to visit our website at spartacandleco.com. Thanks and have a great day. Ayo, collector check. Show the most expensive item in your collection. The least expensive item in your collection. The item everyone wants to steal when they see your collection. The item that's least likely to be had by any other collector. Your first item in your collection. The newest item in your collection. The strangest item in your collection. And your favorite item in your collection. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you guys next time.